Yo, what is going on guys? Thank you for letting me hit 50 likes on part 1. So, this game is now uncopy locked, so you can go ahead and take it. Um the the link should be in all three descriptions, the, all three like um I mean uh yeah, yeah, description for part 1, part 2, part 3. And this is part 3, so hopefully it's there by the time you're watching this. If not, remind me. So, um if you are just coming here and you're new to this series and you don't know about part one, part two, I would recommend going back to part one if you really want to work with me throughout this uh, code. Okay. But if you don't want to, just go ahead and take the game. And please don't remove my credit. Well, I mean, just give me credit, you know. Uh, I would, uh, well, I would appreciate credit. Let me say it like that. I would appreciate appreciate credit um so yeah so so today we're going to be learning how to or we're going to be scripting we're going to make a spawn area we're going to make a game area we're going to make it so they get tp'd back to spawn and we are going to remove all the players from the table uh so first off we're going to remove all the players from the table what i mean by that is because whenever you know it runs the code and they have the table right here of all the players. We want to remove everything from the table. So, um, so, yeah. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> so after the countdown, uh, we're gonna remove all the players from the table. So, I'm gonna go or I player player in pairs. Oops. So we're going to be searching through the all players table, then do. Let me zoom in a little. Got some extra spaces over here. Okay, so we're going to loop through all players. Now, um, now we need to make every value inside the all pl the player the all players table. We need to make it nil. So we're going to go through all players. Then I, which is the the index, <clears throat> equals nil. Okay, so it's gonna pretty much remove and or make nil, make all of the values nil. So we don't have to test that because um, that's gonna be taking more time. <clears throat> just gonna remove that okay make a spawn area what I mean by that is you know we're gonna make some simple base plates okay so later on in another tutorial we're actually gonna be doing like building like a actual building you know building our lobby and stuff so that should be pretty fun but it's probably it, it most likely is that that part of the tutorial is probably going to be like a speed build for me but it's probably going to be on copy locked so I mean you can take it if you want just give me credit please I would appreciate it okay we're gonna name this lobby spawn which it doesn't matter of the the, the name doesn't matter okay now also be sure to add a spawn because you know you want them to spawn in the lobby okay uh, just to make it look better I hate the looks of the spawn so just you can go inside of the spawn, remove the decal, let's change the transparency to one, and can collide false. Duration, if you want that force field, that blue force field to be gone, just change that to zero. I don't like that blue force field. So yeah, um, I'm going to make this the locked false so I can actually select it. Okay, did I, where's this, okay. So, got lobby spawn, and just bring this base plate over here now I'm just gonna extend this and I'm just gonna change the color to a different a different color just so just as a reference alright so like I said before the spawns they can be wherever you want just go inside the model okay and then you know, just just move them wherever you want. It does not matter. But keep it all in this one model and keep the name. Oh, snap. I'm just realizing, guys. Oh, my God. <gasps> no. It needs to be spawn. I don't know what happened with that. 
Dang, I hope that didn't mess up other people. Spawn, I forgot the ends. Please be sure if you follow followed along. Um, please be sure to add that in, or it's not going to work. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah, if if you have problems, if you were currently having problems, um, or were having problems, whatever. Yeah, that's probably why. Maybe. Anyways, so we got the spawn, we got the game area. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't want them to spawn there. So, the police, the robber, you know. Okay. So, now, uh, now what we're going... Okay, we got that. So, we got these two. Now, we're gonna have to code some things. Code so they get TP back to spawn. But just before that, let's go back in our code. I'm gonna change the plus vector 3. Instead of 3, I'm gonna change it to 4. On all three of these right here. Just change it to 4. Okay. Just so they can get teleported higher on the Y axis. Okay. So, um, now let's make it so we have. Okay. We're going to make some lobby spawns. Okay. So, for right now, I'm just going to change the transparency to 0 on the spawn. And. Just gonna resize this to to look like a normal part. Why not? That's a normal part. Change the color. Okay, that's a little too bright. Maybe something like that. Okay. So we're just gonna make it random. Now, make sure these uh, lobby spawns you have just enough. Okay, let's change change them all to whoops just spawn. So make sure to spell it right this time. Spawn just like that. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, undo, cause I I accidentally selected. Okay, this needs to be game spawn. So select on the game area. Let's do game spawn. Okay. Now be sure to select you know these parts. Just name it spawn. Okay. And then we can just continue duplicating. So say you have ten people. 10 players like you set the max players to be 10 um what you need to do is just make 10 spawns <laughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 not counting this spawn don't count this spawn this this spawn's going to be for people whenever they just join the game 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yep that looks like 10 now we're gonna press on this, hold shift, press on this, control G to group, lobby spawns. Okay, lobby spawns, lobby spawns. Okay. Now um I would recommend you you probably would want to change the transparency um of all those. And you could change the transparency of all these other parts, but it's just for reference. So I'm just gonna leave it like this, just so I know that they're spawning at at the actual spawn. Okay, now the spawning back part. So it counts down. We remove all the players from the table. Then we're gonna do the spawn, the teleporting back. Cause you know we don't want whenever the game, the countdown's over, we don't want them to all just stay right here. So we're gonna make a new variable: local, local lobby spawns equals works workspace wait oh man wait for a child lobby spawns okay so lobby spawns make sure i put the s at the end yeah lobby spawn 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 sweet okay okay so now what we want to do is um um actually yeah yeah okay so this time instead of searching through all players which is the the table we're gonna search through uh every player in the same in the game so for <coughs> for i uh player for i player in pairs put players and then we want to do get 
players get players oop, make sure to add that s do get players is kind of like it's you could do get children but get players i'm gonna use okay for our players so we're gonna search through so now player is the player that's inside of player okay now we're gonna do um let's do local character equals player dot character okay um now we're since we have the character okay actually I could just take this code right here from my line 54 but for the line might be different for you character set primary part C frame now instead of normal spawns we're gonna go in lobby spawns which is that model so lobby spawns find first child spawn oh yeah and this is what we also need to do uh, we need to add okay this time I'm gonna try not to mess up so if you want to learn something new check this out see if you want to if you try selecting a part I mean you can in here in the Explorer tab but if you try selecting parts from in like you know in the game the game window you hold alt so if you hold alt and then you click you can actually select mo uh, parts in a model pretty neat I've been knowing that for a while but yeah alright so now it does not matter what order you want like you can name this spawn spawn one select a random one two just make sure you don't remove that in like I did three four five six seven oh see I accidentally pressed backspace seven eight nine okay ten now you want to make sure every you have the n and the ten and, and um a number on every one which it looks like I do okay now we have that let's go back in our code so right here character separate. lobby spawns for show spawn and if you're wondering what the I is the I is the number because it loops uh, dot C frame plus vector three. Yeah. All right. So that's going to yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's start it up. As you can see, all the players are going to spawn here. And of course, you can set up more more than one of these spawns, more than more than one uh, of a spawn location. Like you can put them randomly, you know, to kind of blend in with all the other random spawns. All right, zero, teleported. So yeah, picks random. You know, you can move around, you do your thing, but see the game time, I mean, you could just change the game time. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, wow. Sweet. Now, what I'm going to do is, okay, I just cleaned up. Okay. Oh, yeah, um... Before this tutorial is over with, can I not select? Can I not move? What's going on? Okay. I'm going to get all the spawns. Can't collide false. Just so like we can go through the spawns. And we sh we, we're going to do the same with over here too. can collide false. Oh, anchored. Oh, snap. Yes, we want anchored true. We want it checked. So, um, yeah. So, anchored true. can collide false. With over here, I'm gonna select all these. Anchored is already true. Can't collide false. Sweet. 
and then of course acres on okay cool and then just close all these little things all right one more thing before this tutorial is over if you enjoyed please drop a like and subscribe um, or just a like or just subscribe whatever you want but you know I appreciate both a lot uh, one more thing like I was saying to make it easier for you guys to understand like oh which one's the intermission which one's the game time if you're confused between this one this one how about this let's make some variables up here let's we're just gonna understand I have the variables thing but that's more like objects objects and whatever we're gonna do local um, intermission equals and then you know my intermission was 10 local game time equals and my game time is 15 so now what you're gonna do you're gonna take intermission replace that 10 or whatever number with intermission copy this and then the game time boom now whenever you wanna now you shouldn't be too confused but uh, now if you want to change the time you just go up here so if you want the intermission to be 30 bang you're done game time to be 20 you change it from there but I'm keeping it short so yeah um and also um yeah uh, I guess that's it so thank you guys for watching get ready for part four because I think I'm making it today um, also, I had some requests with case openings. Case openings. I might actually try that, to be honest. But I'm not sure if it should be part of this murder game or it should just be some random tutorial out there on my channel. But, um, yeah. So, stay subscribed and subscribe if, if you're uh, wanting to watch some neat tutorials, I guess. Anyways, later.